Welcome back. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm uh, modifying my mini mini mill. Uh, a little over a year ago, I guess it is. Uh, I bought zero lash, zero backlash um, couplers, and I hadn't put them in. And uh, that's what I'm doing now because I began to have problems uh, with the uh, Lovejoy couplers that were in there uh, in terms of backlash. So I've already got two of them in. I got the uh, X and the Y in. Uh, the reason I've got this thing jacked up like this is uh, for your benefit. Uh, to show you that if you do buy the Zero Lash uh, couplers, which cost about $75 from, um, yeah, who made this? Fusion. Um, cost about $75 for the three of them. Uh, on the uh, x-axis, you will have to drill a hole in the bottom of the block or cut the block out completely on the bottom here because you can't adjust the um, uh, clamp screw. You can't get at the screw on the clamp. Uh, I'll show you the clamp once I do the Z. I haven't done the Z yet. Uh, I did the... Uh, the X and the Y, the, the Y is pretty much a no-brainer. It goes in, you know, without uh, any thought whatsoever. So, uh, I, I don't know if I can get a shot from here. It's on the, the camera's on a tripod, but we'll give it a shot here. Maybe if I shine my flashlight up under there, you can see the coupler. Um, it's not in two pieces like the uh, Lovejoy's. Uh, it's a one-piece coupler, and I've used zero lash couplers before. This is the the old Lovejoy, if you can remember. It's in two pieces with the rubber in between, and you can see what happens with the Lovejoy. If I uh, if I were a better cameraman, you probably could see. This is what happens with the Lovejoy. You see the. You see the. The, the it, it just has an inherent backlash in it, okay? Uh, I don't know if you can actually see the movement in it, but I can feel it. So I began having problems with that, so I said, screw this. Uh, too, much, too much of a pain in the ass. You can compensate for that in Mach 3. Uh, they do have a, a way of compensating for backlash, but it's just not worth it. It's I, I had to revisit it four or five times, uh, um, and it's a real pain in the ass if you're cutting parts like I, I've been cutting lately to take 10 hours to cut. Uh, you can't stop the whole job to go off and, you know, adjust the backlash. So, um, so I'm in the midst of this, and I'll get back to you now. Like I said, I've already done this and this, and I'll show you the Z, so you got a better idea what this stuff looks like. Okay, so uh, this is what the Z looks like. Let's see if I can get a little light on it. That's what the... Uh, let me zoom in on a little bit, maybe. That's what the coupler looks like. It's got two set screws there. You can see it. And this one is very simple. So you just have to take the two screws out of the uh, stepper motor, lift it up, take the old one out, uh, slide it back on with the on top of the coupler, tighten up the two screws, and uh, you're finished. Um, so now we're gonna uh, I'm gonna take my mill and um, reconnect the computer, power it up. And then we'll go through the backlash uh, test and we'll see what kind of backlash we got. So I'll get back to you. Okay, welcome back. I got, um, got a gauge set up here. And uh, as I move the table back and forth, the gauge is going to read the backlash. Uh, what we're going to do, there, there is a little process or a little procedure you have to go through to do this. What I'm going to do is uh, drive this off, drive it off of uh, zero. Let me make sure that you can see what I'm saying here. Let's 
so the camera's a little tilted. Okay. And so I'm I'm driving the X back and forth right now. This is the setup right here. I got a magnetic base sitting on the top of my uh, vise, and it pushes against the head headstock as I um, uh, move the uh, X axis. So I just move it away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move it towards the gauge. Doesn't matter where, anywhere. Let's take that. That's our reference point. What I'm going to do is, uh, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see Mach 3, but I'm going to zero X, Y, and Z. And actually all we really have to do is X in this case. But we'll do X, Y, and Z. Not zero. I'm also going to zero the meter. Zero. And then I'm going to move the meter back off of uh, this point where we are right now. I can remember which uh, switch to hit. I always hit the wrong way. Yeah, I did it that time. Okay, so we're completely off. And what we want to do is uh, up on Mach 3 again. We're going to hit go to zero right here. Go to zero. And we're going to watch the gauge. We're going to make sure it goes back to zero. That's where we set it. Perfect. It's within a, you know, a half a thou, but that's uh, within the error of this meter. So I'll re zero it again. No, it won't take a zero. There it is. Uh, next time around, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, go in the opposite direction, which would be this direction, and then we're going to do a go to zero again, and that should measure the, um, and it's perfect, that measures the backlash. So I'm going to do it again, I'll do it again for you here. off. Alright, we're going to set that to zero. First we're going to have zero X, Y, and Z on Mach 3. X, Y, and Z. Okay, we're going to zero the meter and this is our point of reference. Zero. Okay. And then we're going to um, drive it back off. I can remember which way to go. Always go the wrong way. Hey, I did it right that time. Alright, and then we're going to, again, in Mach 3, click on go to zero. I'm not going to change the camera for that. But, and it goes exactly to zero. And now we're going to uh, drive it inward, and we're going to do the same thing. And if it has any backlash, it'll read something other than zero. And it reads exactly zero. So um, the message of this video is uh, if you're going to do this um, uh, modification, you know, to modify your mill to CNC and you're going to use this uh, fusion kit, don't cheap out. Get the... Um, uh, the zero lash couplers, okay? Uh, if you cheap out like I did, you're going to have a lot of problems with the, uh, depends on what you're doing, I guess, but with these love joys, it's way too much backlash in those love joys. Uh, and the other thing is, of course, I, I, I haven't looked at the kit in a, in a long, long time, but if there's an option to buy anything other than the ball screws, with ball bearings uh, for zero lash on the screws themselves. Uh, don't do it. Don't cheap out. Let me see, this is a ball screw right here, okay? There's ball bearings in this screw and that's what keeps it zero lash, makes it zero lash. Um, uh, the, the same thing is uh, installed on the X and the Y, so 
Alright, so anyway, this is a short video.